Yo, what's going on with y'all, man? Hopefully y'all having a good day. We are in the gym parking lot. I'm trying to get my caffeine on. About to go hit some legs, bro. Man, I hate hitting legs. It's such a pain in the ass. Like, legs is never like a fun exercise. Like, I'm never like, I can't wait to go squat and lunge and do calf raises until my until my calves fall off. Like, I, I, I just hate leg day. I despise it. But anyway, man, I hope y'all are having good spirits lately. You know, we're we're in a month of May. Summer's approaching. A lot of things are about to start changing. We're about to get holidays coming back soon before we know it. Um, and I'm just trying to take it all in and just trying to get prepared for my next opportunity. And I hope you guys are too. Um, I don't consider myself to be a lucky individual, right? I don't believe in luck. But what I do believe in is being prepared for when your opportunity arrives and I've I've gotten I've gotten opportunities I weren't prepared for. Um, normally it's because I just don't see it coming, um, or, or there have been a couple times where you know I just don't take it seriously, and it turns out to be way bigger than than I origin originally had expected. But but yeah, man, I'm just just vibing. I just want to come up here and, and give you guys some good energy, and I think that's important, right? Like me personally, I try to feed off of good energy that I get from other people throughout the day. It could be as, as little and as small as a conversation. Um, you know, it could be a, a simple interaction, me just saying, what's up, me telling somebody I have a good morning and I, you know, I see their reaction off me telling them to have a good morning. They smile, I smile. I feed off that, you know. Um, friends as well, those closest to me. I really thrive off of those closest to me um, doing well. Like recently, my girlfriend at school, which is awesome, buddy just increased my buddy just increased his uh income by 20 percent, which is great i have another friend that's about to get married so i'm seeing everyone else you know get these blessings and, and get good fortune and move forward and progress and build and and you know that makes me happy a because i want to see them do well but b that that gets me inspired because as that's that's the type of uh people i want to be around i want to be around people that are that are building that are progressing that are striving that are trying to do a little bit more each day and, you know, I hate to say it, not everybody is on that type of time. You know, a lot of people, um, they, they don't try for many reasons, but they don't they don't try to improve or try to, you know, develop themselves. Um, Self-development is a lot of work. Um, building anything is a lot of work. Like even YouTube, man, I'm still working, like still trying to figure out how to get um, into this algorithm. It's pretty tough, but, you know, I don't give up. I see other channels grow. And, you know, I, I be on other people's pages telling them congratulations on their channel growth and stuff because, you know, I, I make YouTube videos, but I also watch a lot of YouTube, too. There are some great some great content out there, um, great content creators out there. But, you know, I just try to feed off of other people's positive energy and I try to give it as much as possible. And especially towards people that share my reflection. And y'all know what I'm talking about. Um, there are there are black men that when you see them out in public and when they lock eyes with another black man, they automatically get aggressive or like they think that it's an issue or whatever. And I really think that comes from like insecurity almost, you know, and a little bit of self-hate. Like you would think that, you know, a black man would see another black man and he would automatically, you know, feel the love, feel the good energy, you know. Normally, if I think a dude is either checking checking me up or what do you call it when the dude's trying to like you know check the temperature or for me for most folks staring at me i normally you know give them a head nod they do the head nod and then we cool right but motherfucker you know don't give me the head nod back because i just stare at him for a little while to, to check to make sure they ain't on no bs but that's how it is out here you know i, I always give people the benefit of the doubt and I feel like there are a lot of black men that don't give other black men the benefit of the doubt uh, of pretty much you not harming me and having good intentions is, is what I'm saying. And, you know, I, I live in a white neighborhood. I ain't going to lie. But, you know, there, there that happens all over the place. It's not just in, in the hood, you know. It happens everywhere. Ninjas is ninjas is worldwide, citywide. All right. <laughs> but, yeah, man. Just out here vibing, just trying to get my mind ready for the rest of the day, for this leg session especially, and for the food. I'm about to start taking this a lot, a little bit more seriously as far as like, as far as like me eating and my diet and stuff. And you know, I, I have pretty good genetics, and I'm consistent because all my videos that I do are in the gym parking lot because that's what I'm trying to do. I'm trying to get in a better shape. I'm trying to build a better YouTube channel. So this is like 
two birds and one stone, but you know, it's pretty tiring sometimes, man. It, it really is. But you know, me seeing my channel grow, me seeing other people do well, me seeing other people find personal satisfaction, that gives me fuel. Like I'm, I'm learning how to use the positive things around me as fuel, you know, and not only am I trying to use it as fuel, I'm also trying to, trying to, you know, fuel their flame as well. Um, like if someone around you is doing well, make sure you support them. You know what I'm saying? Like, don't just see it from a distance. You see your homie get a car, be like, Hey man, you trying to whip me around in this thing? Let's see, you know, let's see what this, what this thing got in the parkway. Congratulate him, praise him. You know, ask him when he's getting the second car, you get a buddy to get in a new house. You get a buddy to start a business, be the first customer, be one of the first people to, to get a piece of furniture for him or a picture. I mean, you don't gotta get furniture, but like, you know, like a little table or something stupid. It could be a picture. It could be anything that shows that you are happy that they got what they got and that you're trying to improve what they got. You know, just try to gas it. Um, that's what it's all about. A lot of people don't have support systems or people in their lives that, uh, you know, encourage them. And there are people that got they got haters next to them too. That's a real thing. You know, people will be envious of what you have, which is which is pretty sad, you know. Um instead of them going out to go and get it, they out here talking ish. They out here talking ish behind your back about what you got, or you know, they wish it was theirs, or they, they try to belittle your achievement. And it doesn't have to be like some big thing. It could be you, you know, doing well in the class you finishing a project. It could be so many different things, but you know, so, sadly, not everyone's happy. That's life though, man. That's definitely life. It's the sad reality, but I just try to bring good energy, bro. And you should too. If you can't find somebody that gives you good energy, then be the good energy. And that's for everything. You know, I stopped searching for people to do stuff or for people to give me like a certain type of vibe. Uh, for me to feel a certain type of way, right? So like, if you are not around a whole bunch of people that lift, be the friend that gets a whole bunch of people to lift, you know? Um, if you feel like you wanna be around some good energy, be the guy that creates the good energy. Um, if you wanna be the girl that loses weight or that does, you know, just starts dressing better or, you know, whatever the case may be, whatever you want, just create it yourself. You know, don't go out searching for it externally, be the source and then everyone else will follow. It's just the way that it's the way it works. You know, uh, that's kind of like uh, what what leadership is about, to be honest with you, uh, because every everyone needs some form of guidance and they'll only follow you if you give them what they want. And that's kind of, you know, with every relationship, everything is give and take. Not that you should be out here using people, but you guys get what I mean. But I hope you guys have a great day. I'm about to go lift. And uh, yeah, man, thanks for watching. I'm out. Peace.